Johannesburg, one of the golden cities of Africa. From here comes much of the world's gold, valued at millions of pounds. But they don't talk much in terms of pounds anymore in South Africa. They've moved on to the decimal coinage system, a few years before Britain is expected to. What is happening to money in South Africa is of importance to us, since we can learn some valuable lessons. The decimal system means that instead of 12 pennies to the shilling and 20 shillings to the pound, everything works in tens. They now have the rand, equal to 10 shillings and cents. For the time being, price tags are marked old and new style as the old notes are slowly withdrawn. An extensive publicity campaign was organized to prepare people for the money changeover. Posters, lectures and so on. The sophisticated town folk have found the new coinage easy to use. And it's not difficult for the villagers either, especially if they use fingers. A highly popular jingle explaining the new money has been often played over the radio. Decimal Dan, the Ronson man, gives you cents for pennies whenever he can. One cent for a penny, and two for two, and two with a for a tick. And notes and silver are worth the same. Remember, it's just a change in their name. The Mint's first priority was to produce new cent and half cent coins to be the same size as the old pennies and halfpennies. It was estimated that about 30 million would be needed at first. As in the past, special sets of gold coins were struck in small quantities for collectors. Remember, it's just a change in their name. Decimal Dan, the run cent man, gives you cents for pennies whenever he can. Eight for tenpence and nine for eleven. The South African government has been discussing this important change in its money for years. After a lot of thought, it decided that the new decimal system would be worthwhile, since, for a start, it makes counting in shops and banks a lot easier and quicker. Machines using the decimal counting process are simple to use and cheap. And another thought the government had, showing that it had an unexpected softer side, it thought that the new system would make elementary arithmetic in schools a lot easier. And it does, as the teacher in this British school is finding out. The idea is that the pound should be divided into units of 10 shillings, and each unit into 100 cents, each a little more than a penny. The changeover of money in South Africa has been successful. It has been shown that Britain could easily change, although the cost might be in the region of 80 million pounds for new calculating machines and so on. And notes and silver are worth the same. Remember, it's just a change in their name. Dan, the Ron Cent Man gives you cents for pennies whenever he can. Three cents for four pence and more for five. The five cents are worth the sixpence. And notes and silver are worth the same. Remember, it's just a change in their name. One of the problems would be, what should we call the new ten shilling note? Will it be the Royal, the Britannia, or what? And if ever, when? Seven for eight. Seven and a half for nine. 1965, 